Don't forget the accessories. Let's go. The switch, it's coming out. Expensive stuff. Expensive stuff oh. is coming out to accessorize it. Yeah. You can't just leave a console by itself. You gotta have the cool stuff. Yes. And recently I actually got a compliment on my beautiful what are those called? Gloves the that that you put on the gamepad, the oh, rubbery yeah. stuff. Yeah. I call it a glove. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. Cover. Yeah. Whatever it is. Does yours um, like leak oil all over your gamepad like mine does? No, does yours? <laughs> well, <I'm... laughs> well, like mine does. Does yours? <laughs> I guess you kind of answered my question. Well, one accessory I'm literally looking forward to not needing to buy anymore is styli or styluses Yay! because we've got a really good touchscreen now. No stylus necessary. No. However, since it's a, a touchscreen, you may still want the PDP screen protector which is $8, and I've always had screen protectors for my even my Wii U, you mm -hmm. know, which didn't go outside, um, and my 3DS, and this is not a clamshell. So. No, it's, there's nothing to cover it. Um, there are some options of covers and stuff that yeah. I've seen, but you know, for the most part, you're probably not gonna have that covered, so you're gonna want to yeah. eight, have it. Eight bucks for a screen protector. The charging grip that um, you know, you're gonna be able to Hold the Joy Cons yes. and charge them at the same time. Is it worth your money? Not really, because the Joy Cons themselves they um, hold their charge for a really, really long time, like twenty hours. Twenty hours. And so you're not going to need to be like you can't go that long without time. sleeping. Yeah. And yeah, just slide them right back on the switch. You're good to go. If you like never plan on taking the console with you and you only want to play like that, then you know maybe it's worth it for you. I guess. Pro controller is seventy bucks, <laughs> and it's got it's steep. It's got you know the technology in it that they yeah. are putting in the Joy Cons as well. It's got the Amiibo scanner, the HD Rumble, which is good to hear. A real D-pad, which is the only way you can play with the real D-pad on Switch, and uh, bigger buttons. So. It's a nice controller. A lot of people that have felt it at events have said, this is the nicest console controller I've ever touched. I've heard it from multiple, wow. multiple people. So if it's anything like the Wii U Pro Controller, it's going to have huge battery life. That one lasted 80 hours. Holy so holy. yes, this is expensive. Um, the only feature it doesn't have that the Joy-Cons do is that IR camera. The camera. But, so you uh, can't can't play rock paper scissors with the pro controller. No. But I mean, th this is a, a high tech piece of tech. It's you know it's not cheap. Yeah. So you know you're not going to be able to go out and buy these in bulk like you would um, classic controllers when the right. Wii came out yep. that were as much as nunchucks were. You got them in, in bulk, huh? You got I, yeah, like I got some a box of wholesale boxes. No, no, I was so cheap that I waited until <laughs> you got a new one and then bought it from you. Yep. Um, so we got the dock. The dock, um, which yeah. thankfully the original package comes with, but if you want to play on multiple TVs and be able to move right. the Switch from TV to TV, 90 bucks, which we've talked about this. We've already talked about how ridiculous this is. I hope Nintendo doesn't sell one of these. Yeah. If you take these values at face value, then supposedly the dock is worth 90, the two Joy-Cons are worth 80, the grip is probably, since it's not a charging one, it's probably 15. So you're telling me that the Switch tablet is only like 80 bucks or yeah. whatever. That's what Nintendo is <laughs> telling me. I don't believe it. No, I don't believe it either. That this dock is pretty ri ridiculous. Don't if yeah. If don't buy this. If Nintendo asked me, Scott, how much can we sell the dock for? I'd say thirty nine dollars and nine cents is the absolute maximum. Absolute maximum. Yeah. Nothing more than that. Micro SD is something you might want to pick up, especially if you plan on downloading digital games. I'm going to mm -hmm. continue to buy mine uh, uh, boxed, whatever you call retail. <laughs> But there's only 32 gigabytes of storage on board the Switch. Um, what's nice is that 
you can expand this a lot with a micro SD card. Um, 64 gigabytes is pretty affordable, it's like $40 or something like that. You'll be good to go for a long time. And it's gonna support up to two terabytes. And they're not even making those yet. No. So you will not run out of room on the Switch if you do not want to. That's true. Um, the additional Joy-Cons, which uh, we've already talked about, $80 in a pair, mm -hmm. so $50 just for one of them, That's but right. uh, you know, save 10 bucks if you get the pair of them. Yep. And this is, um, this is nice. Nintendo is so smart with the, okay, with the, the colored ones. Yes. Because you get a blue and a red. And if you want to round out those pairs, you buy the opposite pack. How can you resist that? Oh, you yeah. can't. Because I, I actually want two blue Joy-Cons on my Switch, so... They, they just did that to <laughs> screw over OCD people. I, I hear that. I uh, feel that. Now, um, I had a question about these. Now, the additional Joy-Cons, when you buy them in the pack, mm -hmm. do they come with that other half thing? They do come with the okay. wrist strap. Wrist strap, yeah. yeah. I call it the other half thing. <laughs> Because it's more than just a wrist strap. It's got the yeah. button expansions and makes it more be, comfortable. Be careful talking about your other half. Your wife's going to hear that and oh. wonder what's going on. Then there is the additional, uh, no, there is the Joy-Con wheels. Yes. Um, pack of two, $15. Why not? Yeah, that's that's kind of nice. But I'd wait until Mario Kart comes out. I don't know really why they're selling these at launch. You didn't see any Wii wheels out before. I mean, maybe third-party ones, but what is Nintendo doing selling these before Mario Kart? I don't know. Uh, make sure, make sure that if they get all bought up, they can restock them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, the power adapter, mm -hmm. um, so that you can keep the one in the dock. Yeah. <laughs> like. You know, with the Wii U, you have the dock that you stick the gamepad right. on, you pull it off, or you can plug it straight in, you know, but you'd have to unplug the dock. Mm -hmm. You know, if you charge it someplace else, want to charge it by your bedside, right. have the dock by the TV, 30 bucks. Not horrible. No, not, not, not horrible. Uh, not, not the best price, but... I could see myself buying like this, cord. possibly. It's like a cord, that's right. And then there's the Joy-Con charging dock. I believe this one is third party. It fits for Joy-Con and it has um, LED indicators on the top saying which ones still need more time charging, which one don't. And this is $30. It's probably a good alternative to buying the charging grip because you know you get a standard grip with the console and yeah. if you're gonna have four Joy-Cons, it might be nice to have that little charging dock yes. for all four of them. If you have more Joy-Cons. Um, there's the Hori play stand, which is like the dock, mm -hmm. right? It's the exact same thing, except it's uh, up to where you can see the screen, actually. Yeah, and that is for like playing in tabletop Oh, okay, mode. yeah, it's only tabletop mode, yeah. Forget what I'm saying. Apparently it's um, $77 uh, to, <laughs> to go from the screen in your hand to the... Yes, sir. 13 bucks to AKA, get the Hori Play Stand. An HDMI cable, but anyway. Which is nice, you know, it charges it, right? So the Hori Play Stand allows you to plug it in while it's in tabletop mode, because if you're only using the kickstand, you can't yeah, get it's to not gonna it. get under there. So that's really what this is for. That's nice. So now, Simeon, you found what you're telling me is the be all end all switch accessory. Yes, and this is really cool. This is um, the. Um, what's called the PDP Nintendo Switch Starter Kit Links Tunic Edition. What? Okay, so this is a case no for the Switch. Um, if you look at all of the poop that's inside of it, spot to put all the games, yes. headphones, grips for the Joy-Con, hmm. a screen thing with an applicator, a, a Zelda applicator. A Zelda applicator, Excuse yes. A, a Zelda piece of plastic <laughs> that's shaped like the Superman symbol. Um, a terry cloth to wipe down yes. the screen. And two little rubber thumb things for what? the gamepad. This is this is 30 bucks for all of this stuff. Okay, Look at well, this beautiful stuff. I mean, I know I need a case. And this is officially Zelda licensed, so you can... I, 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 mean, I don't know, is. I guess. It is. Yeah. Um, Maybe I needed a screen protector. You're right. Yeah. I mean, I know that these headphones are going to be 
poop. Complete garbage. They're gonna be so bad, <laughs> they'll probably, you know, electrocute you like mine do. But, but I missed out on pre-orders for that, um, like, Zelda special bundle with the case. I can get a Zelda case right here. Look at this. Look at those grips. Look at how nice they look. They're Maybe. like... Look, yeah, and it all fits in there. Oh, are those Zelda themed grips? Those are Zelda themed grips. They, mean, oh. they have like etching in them that look cool. And I, I, I don't know if these things actually work. The, and, the little things that go on the thumb pads, but. And this is from my favorite retailer, Two Best Buys. So, yes. Um, this is where I'm picking up all my Switch stuff. So thanks for pointing this out. Yes, 30 bucks. <clears throat> make, it, make it a steal. If you have to get a bunch of accessories like yep. screen protectors and yep. stuff, yep. get yep. it there. Get it with that deal. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the crew, everyone. Don't forget to check out twobuttoncrew.com where we have content every single day of the week. See you guys next time. Signing out.